So what I'm going to do for you is break down exactly what I did every single day in order to, to write 12 applications, because it's not that hard. Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of staying put, putting in the time, connecting with enough people, having good quality conversations so that you can rinse and repeat every single day. Every time I do a beat the manager contest, two things happen. One, people sell more than ever before. And two, they put in more time than ever before. And guess what? The results speak for themselves. I'm going to talk about that today. And at the end, you're going to find out how I personally sold 12 policies last week and how my team had one of their best weeks ever during open enrollment for Medicare. We are almost at the end of open enrollment for Medicare. It ends on December 7th. Today is December 4th. Last week, I had a contest for the team called Beat the Manager. And it's definitely a little bit more challenging to sell final expense insurance during open enrollment because they, our clients are the same clients as Medicare and their phones are ringing off the hook. They're a little bit more agitated than they normally are. Plus, we are on the cusp of the holidays. And so there's just a few things working against us, but it's not impossible. As long as you have enough people to reach out to, the opportunity is there. There's still plenty of people that need protection for their families. Last week, I had a beat the manager contest for my team. I got back into to prove that I can still sell, even though I'm not in there every single day. And that even with everything stacked against us, there's no excuses. As long as you put in the time and you stay consistent with your effort, then these sales will come. Last week, I sold 12 policies. My goal was 15. I definitely had a day where I blanked, and I'm going to talk about that. But there were four categories in which people could beat me. And if you beat me in each one of those categories, every winner got $500 per category. So there was an opportunity for everybody to win $2,000 last week. And the first category was written annualized premium. So if you beat me in submitted business, you got 500 bucks. If you beat me in talk time, you got 500 bucks. If you beat me in number of apps submitted, $500. And lastly, if you beat me in total conversion rate of all the leads that you spoke to, not just of the ones you present to, $500. On top of that, I had a daily contest. So every single day there was a different goal, whether it was talk time, number of deals submitted, number of apps written or, or premium that you wrote. And whoever was the winner of that day, I split all my deals with for that day. So there was just multiple ways to win. The energy was high. Everyone was excited to be in. And what do you know? people sold more premium than they have sold in a long time. And it had nothing to do with our system. It had nothing to do with the leads. We didn't change anything in regards to our transfers. The opportunity was exactly the same. The only thing that changed was people were motivated to put in the time because they wanted to beat me. We ended up giving away $3,500 in bonuses last week. Yes, I did not come out victorious in all categories. My two managers even helped assist close 16, 17 deals last week for our new agents in training. The team was on fire. It was a great week. So what I'm going to do for you is break down exactly what I did every single day in order to, to write 12 applications because it's not that hard. Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of staying put, putting in the time, connecting with enough people, having good quality conversations so that you can rinse and repeat every single day. Here are my stats from Monday. So Monday, I made connection with 70 people. Um, of those 70 people, let's see, I had six of them I scheduled a call back for. I had seven of them that said, don't ever call me again. <laughs> I had, let's see, here's a big group. 23 of them um, hung up on me before I could even finish my intro. An additional 28 of them uh, said they were not interested and I could not overcome the objection. Uh, two were unavailable, one wrong number. 
And I did have a few transfers in here that I spoke with and I sold three. Um, my stats for Monday were eight hours of actual work time. Really didn't leave my desk much at all, except for to go to the bathroom or grab something to eat, fill up my coffee cup, bring it back to my desk. I had six hours of talk time, three sales, total AP of $2,102. By the way, my hours that I typically start is between 7.30 and 8 o'clock in the morning, and I was ending at about 4.30, 5 o'clock at night. Let's go to Tuesday. Tuesday, I also put in eight hours of work. I had five hours of talk time that day. I helped four families. And my annual premium that, that day was actually very, very small. The total AP size for the four final expense policies was $1,648. So after the first two days, um, I was at... 3751 3751 with seven policies and a total of 11 hours of talk time in two days. Tuesday, I also um, connected with over 70 people, probably had very similar results, but continued to keep going until I got someone on the phone that wanted to talk to me. And really, it's about what you do with the conversations that you can speak with that will determine your success or failure. Because I didn't have 10 presentations on those days, right? That would be almost eight to 10 hours of talk time. I had about the amount of presentations that I had sales because I have a pretty high conversion rate. So that's going to be one of the things that you have to consider is depending on your conversion rate will determine how many hours you might have to put in to get similar results as I did. All right, we're jumping into Wednesday. Wednesday, I had about eight hours of work time as well, five hours of talk time that day, and I ended with a goose egg. I didn't sell anything on Wednesday, and I was super bummed. Um, I posted about it on Instagram, but it did not discourage me. I did have two really good presentations that day. I kind of realized where I went wrong and why I didn't get them into the application and uh, kind of reflected on that and, and figured out how to not do that again the rest of the week. On Wednesday, because I didn't have as many presentations and I didn't sell anything, I actually connected with about 100 people on Wednesday. Most of them told me to pound sand and... You know, there's really not a whole lot you can do about it. I did schedule a few follow-up appointments for presentations I had the rest of the week. But other than that, it was a it was a big zero for me on Wednesday. Let's go to Thursday. Thursday, I had some distractions as in life. I was distracted on Thursday. I had kids stuff come up. I only worked just under seven hours, about six hours and 45 minutes. I only had three hours and 41 minutes of talk time, which is terrible. Um, I definitely should have had five to six hours of talk time, but again, things got in the way. I couldn't make it happen. And that um, really was a detriment. I did end up pulling out one sale on Thursday within that time, um, connected with almost 90 people. And lucky, it was a good one. My annual premium on Thursday for one sale was $1,519, almost as much as Tuesday for my four policies. So you just never know what you're going to get. Friday was redemption day. Friday was a great day for me. It's just the luck of the draw. I only connected with about 45 people on Friday. I was just having lots of great conversations, helped four families on Friday, uh, worked nine hours on Friday, was able to put in nine hours of work, had about five hours of talk time. I had a lot of inactive work that I was doing as I was helping all these families. So follow-ups and sending emails and uh, collecting some referrals. So there was a lot of inactive work that I had that day. And my total annualized premium was $3,049 on Friday. So just as a recap for my week, I had 8,319 total AP submitted for 12 applications. My total talk time was just under 27 hours. My total conversion rate of everybody that I spoke to and connected with, which you heard was quite a bit of people and most of them just hung up on me or said they weren't interested, was 3.31%. 
And we had three people beat me in total AP. Each of them got 500 apiece. We had one almost at 11,000, uh, almost 10,000 and 9,500. Nobody beat me in the number of sales category. Like I had said earlier, I had some really, really tiny policies, but they all count. Uh, two people beat me in talk time. That Thursday really took helped me take a nosedive in there. And two people beat me in conversion rate. Overall, we gave out 3,500 in bonuses. We ended the week um, really strong and was really happy to see the energy and enthusiasm going into what this opportunity can actually provide. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. The Beat the Manager contest did not change anything with what we do on a daily basis. It's the same systems, it's the same leads, it's the same opportunities, it's the same conversations. It's just the, the people that worked actually put in more time than they normally do. And more time equals more opportunity to have more conversations. More conversations help keep your razor sharp. It allows you to practice in real time. And that allows you to in turn, have an opportunity to get more sales. We are, we are nothing without helping families. And you cannot just be okay with logging in or calling from your phone, getting a couple policies and being done because that is a false sense of security. You don't know if A, all of those people are actually gonna make their first payment. You don't know if they're gonna call you back with buyer's remorse or cancel. So you can never stop making those calls and getting as many possible policies as you possibly can in the event that the ones that you write don't actually go through, or maybe they go through and then they cancel in three months from now. You can never stop having a buffer. The ones that fail are the ones that put in 50% of the way and then they go do something else. This is a full-time commitment, whether you work with me or you work with another agency. And any leader in my position will tell you the exact same thing. The ones that are the most successful, put in the most time, they are consistent, they do not take shortcuts, and they do whatever they can to get the results that they need. Thank you for watching. I had so much fun in the Beat the Manager contest. If you have any questions for me, my contact information will be in the detailed description below. And I look forward to bringing you another video. Thinking of doing one on objection, I want to wait till after the holidays. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.